relying on third-party data like LinkedIn's industry targeting is like cutting money in half. Just this. If you're like me, when you started on LinkedIn, you're all about the industry targeting. It looked amazing. Oh yeah, we only work with software companies, so, oh, is that a computer software and services industry? Every single buyer that I ever want to talk to ever is going to be in there for sure. And it's going to be no waste. You quickly learn that not everyone in that industry is the right company. A lot of it's like software development, IT services. And then you start realizing, oh wait, how? why am I not showing in front of all these FinTech companies? Oh, they're under finance or banking. Let's target that. No, no, no. A lot of non-software companies in that too, because there's a lot of banks. I actually tested using an account list, manually verified account list of software companies versus industry targeting. So computer software and services, internet, information technology and services, and computer network and security. Same amount of budget, we got twice as much revenue from the account list than we did the industry targeting. I'm just looking at direct response. I'm not, I'm not looking at, you know, tracking them from LinkedIn to, I'm just direct attribution. And with the same amount, we got double the revenue from the account list. Cost per lead was a lot lower on industry targeting. So if I was a 15 year old me, I'd have been like, oh, cost per lead, yay. But obviously that would have been bad. The revenue was a lot higher because the quality was a lot better in the account list. Now, this is not just LinkedIn, this is data providers. I mean, so that list I'm talking about, I actually pulled that from data providers, but I had to manually verify it, go through it and say, oh, is this a software company or not? And there was a lot of waste. I think the last the last one we pulled when we did it globally, it was like 50,000 accounts and it whittled it down to 16,000. There was just a lot of companies that were not actually software companies. Not good. So relying on third-party industries or not even manually verifying data providers it's quite literally gonna cut your money in half. So in 2023, when you gotta do more or less, yeah, it's gonna take some time. You gotta actually do some digging to pull that list, but you can get twice as much for the same amount. It's a pretty good deal to me.